So it's important for Woolians that throughout the supply chain, all of the fibres that we are utilising in our yarns have really good traceability um, and not only traceability but sustainability. All of the fibres used have been ethically and humanely collected. Being a boutique mill, Woolians really emphasise the, the raw materials that we, we have access to and uh, we try and get the best that we possibly can. Uh, we combine that with our expertise and, and technical know-how um, in yarn spinning. The owner really invested quite heavily in the machinery that we have. That just helps us to create a superior product. Perino Yarns is a blend of uh, merino with possum fibre. It's estimated in New Zealand that there's around 35 million to 40 million possums currently. Those possums do immense damage to, to New Zealand's flora and fauna. It's got to a level now where the government's had to take steps to control the numbers of possums. We use the fibre from those eradication programs to produce Perino. Native New Zealand never had predators and then all of a sudden we have the possum. They normally have a defence but our native New Zealand don't. They were introduced here in New Zealand thinking that would only eat five species of trees. <laughs> How wrong were they? They eat everything. They are a very bad pest for New Zealand's bush. And that's why we do it. Look, we love the bush. It's not because of the, the possum fibre industry or the... It's just because we love our bush. Coming out and catching the possums, it's not just all about the money, it's about looking after the bush and the native animals. I feel good knowing that I've done work that day to help the bush and it makes me feel better knowing that I'm not just sitting around and doing nothing while the bush gets wrecked by the possums. Over the years the industry has developed immensely. Wool Yarns and the New Zealand Fur Council have um, spent a lot of time working quite closely with the Department of Conservation in New Zealand and also MPI, which is the Ministry of Primary Industries. What we're doing is trying to add some best practice guidelines to try and create a little bit more professionalism, in particular around the harvesting and collection of fibre. We have a guideline, we have rules to run by, and um, there is consequences if you don't do that. It makes people be more professional. The brush-tail possum fibre really, in our opinion, adds value to the other raw materials that it's combined with. You know, very fine uh, ZQ Merino. If we don't keep our property or our high country in good health, it's going to impede on our future generations. We have to look after the environment, we have to look after the land, and we have to look after our stock. There's 8,000 hectares in the property and there's about 8,000 sheep. They've got total freedom. Your ewe, right throughout her life, needs to be well looked after. She needs to be in good condition. She needs to be well fed. Feed is paramount, basically, to producing a good fibre. So traceability means a little bit more than just a certificate to say where product has come from. It's a lot about knowing the people behind the product. We have uh, known the people that supply us for, for many, many years, including the families that are involved. You know, we're yarn engineers and we're always striving to better the products that have uh, been made for us. A lot of people have tried to replicate yarns that wool yarns produce without much success. You know, what we do here is, is very special. 